Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Busty here and I wanted to talk about your cycle health and how to improve the overall health of your cycle. Now this is more of a general list here, right? Nothing specific for you. If you really are struggling with something like endometriosis, fibroids, PCOS, fertility issues, really terrible, you know, um, perimenopause or menopause things, this is where, holy crap, you need to get on the wait list for the 12 week challenge. I'll put the link right here because just following something like this won't necessarily be enough. We'll have to dive in a little bit more, which is what we do in the 12 week challenge. So wait list there. There's a ton of great info on the wait list as well as then, um, you know, all the fun stuff we get to do during that challenge. But a lot of women right now are actually having a lot of trouble with their cycle and it's due to stress, right? Mm, yeah. So I'm having an issue with my cycle. Something's off. I don't know what it is. Where do I start? What do I do? Right? There's a lot of different, you know, what ifs or questions in terms of where to start. And we're not equipped with enough natural information because we're not told this stuff all the way from school to beyond. Right? So of course we don't know this information, which is why I do these videos and talk about it. But first thing is really eat for your hormones, eat for your hormonal cycle, eat for how your hormones shift and change throughout the month right? This is going to be a complete game changer for you. And I have a lot more information in my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. Um, this details out how to eat for estrogen, how to eat for progesterone, how to get your cycle regular, how to boost your metabolism while you're doing this too. Um, that's super fun. Eating for your hormones in your cycle is a game changer. And then of course you can add in seed cycling. That's a great way to help support your regular hormonal pattern and keep it functioning even when you're under a lot of stress or then things kind of go haywire. Another big thing here is cutting out all the artificial crap. Artificial colors, artificial sweeteners, oh, artificial flavors. None of that stuff is helpful for your hormones. It decreases your gut health, which is then gonna impact how well you absorb nutrients and how well your body functions from there, right? The other thing about cycle health, and you'll notice that I'm talking about this hormones are a couple of these things up here, but a lot of it is your overall health. Your health is cumulative. It's cumulative. If you have issues with your cycle and all you're focused on is just cycle, but you're ignoring the digestive issues you have, the bloat, all that stuff, you're really only looking at a small piece of the puzzle. You have to look at the entire system. How well is your body functioning, right? How well is everything working? When you treat and look at the entire system and everything gets better, of course, your cycle health will not only improve, but it's also going to stay that way a lot easier. So cutting out the artificial crap, that's going to help your gut, your gut health. That's a really big piece right now. And with all the stress that we're under, stress decreases the natural good bacteria in your gut. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also artificial sweeteners and things like that also destroy the healthy bacteria in your gut. You don't want that, you know, getting rid of endocrine disruptors. That's another big thing too. So look around your house, cleaners, um, like dryer sheets, all that stuff. I switched over to using wool and wool dryer balls, easy changes you can make in your home and switch things over to things that are actually healthier for your overall system and for your hormones. Um, sometimes it's overwhelming to do this, but start room to room, right? Start with your bedroom, start with your bathroom, start with your laundry room. Those are some of the rooms to go over. Are these clean products? Is it good shampoo, good face products, right? Things that aren't toxic or have a lot of chemicals in them because that can actually disrupt how well your hormones are working. So that's a big piece there. And this is more of a project, honestly, this is a project <laughs> and then decreasing stress overall. Stress has a huge impact on how well your hormones function. So for those of you that have like have a late period or skipping a period or things are just off, you're like, oh my gosh, I had the worst PMS I've had in a long time. A lot of it's that buildup of stress in your system and that your body's not doing a great job handling it and flushing it out. So really focusing on decreasing stress overall is important. Things like an Epsom salt bath, listening to music, right? Having a good sleep routine, lavender essential oils can be very relaxing for you. Spending 30 minutes outside in nature, very helpful. 30 minutes, not exercising, not looking at your phone, just being out in nature for 30 minutes. Whew, takes that stress out, grounding yourself. These are all really key things that your system will respond to very positively to decrease stress overall that then has a positive impact on your cycle and everything else from there. <sighs> okay.
that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm here as a resource for you. Again, that link for the waitlist is in the comments. So go ahead, click that link, get on the waitlist for the next 12 week challenge. We are probably more than likely going to fill up um, as soon as registration opens. And I only open registration to those that are on the wait list. Um, and then other resources I have for you are my podcast, The Female Health Solution. And then I have a YouTube channel, uh, which is called Dr. Beth Westy, that you can subscribe to to stay updated on everything. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you later.